Welcome to the installation of the double waste pullout by Kessaboomer. This waste bin pullout includes a heavy duty soft closing runner with one or two 36 quart bins and is bottom mounted for strength and stability. This video is for demonstration purposes only. Please refer to the mounting instructions for the actual installation. The opening height requirement for this waste bin is 19 and 1 quarter inches minimum. For this reason, it can be installed behind a full height door or with a door drawer combination. The opening width required is 15 and 1 8 inches for a framed cabinet or 15 and 5 8 inches for a frameless cabinet, which is what we're using today. The tools you will need for this installation are a tape measure, a pencil, a T square, a level, an awl, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a power drill. You will also need eight pan head screws and six countersunk screws. The first step is to draw a center line from the front to the back of the cabinet on the cabinet floor. Next, measure your setback from the front of the cabinet using your X calculation from the instructions. Using your setback measurement, mark the holes for both the inner and outer brackets on each side of the frame in the front and the back. Drill pilot holes and then install the runners and frame using eight pan head screws. Now we'll attach the door brackets to the door. First, decide whether the door brackets will stay mounted facing in, or if you have a wider door than needed, they can be switched in order to face out. This will ensure that they mount to the outside style of a five-piece door. First, lay the door face down on a flat surface. Next, draw a center line vertically on the door from top to bottom. Now, cut your template as needed and attach it to the door using your center line and overlay. Next, mark your hole locations on your door using your awl and drill pilot holes. Then you're ready to attach the door brackets to the door using six countersunk screws. Next, find the cross rail and snap it on across the back of the side rails. Now, pick up the door and set the side rails down onto the frame, being sure to place the holes on top of the green buttons. Push down until you see the green buttons pop into place and you hear a click. This is our click fix installation at work. Next, you can insert the bins into the frame. Now that your installation is complete, cycle the unit in and out several times to see if the door lays flush on the top, bottom, and sides when it's fully closed. Since this unit is door mounted, there are built-in adjustments that can be made to change the pitch of the door from side to side, as well as top to bottom. Using the four screws on the top of the frame, you can adjust the frame up and down and change the pitch and position of your door. In order to move the door left or right, loosen the screws on the door brackets and shift the door into the proper position. Then tighten the door bracket screws. To recap, draw a center line on the floor of the cabinet. Measure and mark the setback holes. Drill pilot holes and install the runners. Mount the door brackets. Attach the cross rail. Mount the door onto the frame. Insert the bins. Make the necessary door adjustments. Congratulations! You've completed the installation of the double waste bin unit by Kessaboomer. You now have a perfect solution for a strong, durable, and beautiful pull-out waste bin. Thank you for choosing Casa Boomer. Go to cleverstorage.com for more product information, photos, and videos.